Okay. If you want to join the giveaway, join the Discord. It's linked in the description there. is it going boys and girls darb guy here actually this is darb guy from the future this is commentary darb guy uh just editing a little intro in here um there's a lot that goes on in this video and there's four games i think and all of them are good for their own reason so we got a um we got a really good try hard game in there at some point uh we also had a medusa stomp to show you how to snowball um, then I played against probably the best player I've played against in months. He was incredibly good at this game. I don't know who he was. Some really good uh, Achilles one trick. And he, I don't even know. That game is something else. I don't know what I could have done differently to, you know, to, to succeed more in that game. But that guy was a very good player. And then we have two games against two very toxic players, including this first game. Um... Both of these players were Equinox abusing melee players that backdoored or frontdoored and then spam left. So it's very good getting revenge against them. So I hope you do find yourself enjoying this video. But if you do, make sure to let me know by subscribing. I'm really trying to hit 1k by the end of the year. And um, it's just a little click of a button, okay? If you've been here this long, why not? You know, you fucking click that button now, dude. Click it now. <clears throat> How is it going, boys and girls? Darb guy here, and welcome back to another ranked duel video. Today is the unranked two masters part four. Um, we're gonna. I'm doing a little bit differently. I'm sure you've noticed. I want to make the intro of the video a little bit more. Um, what's the word? A little bit more edited. So I want to have a cool clip from the video. Then I want to, currently I'm going to have the giveaway thing in there because, you know, the giveaway is coming up on Sunday. If you want to join, the Discord will be linked in the dis in the pinned comment. Not in the description, it's a pinned comment. Uh, just join the Discord and uh, just all you need to do to be entered is join the Discord. And when I make an announcement, react to it. And then I'll spin a wheel and whoever, whoever lands on wins the giveaway. Very, very simple stuff. Um, uh, it'll be going on Sunday, so if you want to. You, you got a few days, not many, but a few, but yeah, I want to have the, and then I want to have the actual intro and then a commentary bit talking about what's in the video and then in just show the games after that. I think that's really what I want to do. It makes it more entertaining, I think. So I'm probably going to follow that formula a little bit more. It's always good too. That was a lot of crits, by the way, that wave clear is, or that buff clear is very lucky. Nausea has decent buff clear when he gets crits. It's just... 20% doesn't crit very often, but somehow we got two there. Let me get aggressive here. I can fight early against a Marty. I can fight very early. I just got a Sash's Root. I feel like this is actually a good Naja matchup. Most of my Naja matchups have been horrible. But um, this is actually a good Naja matchup. I can fight early. I can kill him. You know, there's a lot that can go on. There we go, man. Simple. So that's why I got the beads, by the way, just for the root, because um, I could either sash the root or I could sash in and the beads the root. Um, and I thought just, you know, he just kind of entered. This guy is a toxic scumbag, by the way. He locked current. No, this is. What did he lock? He locked some cringe S tier character with Equinox. Um, not Kronos, believe it or not, you know, Equinox, but. Um, he locked some cringe character and then spent the entire game front dooring me and then uh, spam left after the game ended. So a very cool person. As you can see, he's a very good player as well, like every other toxic player. Surprised that coin toss did not clear that wave. I have a lot of sustain with my two. I could probably kill him again. I could probably beat his ult down here. I was going to take it slow. He's going to try to step up. Like that. Damn it, I walked into that one. Hey, Salem! Why are you biting the window? Why are you up this far, man? Salem! Hey! Salem's biting the fucking paper on the window. We have a little bit of plastic to insulate the window because 
it's Pennsylvania, you know, it's cold and windows are old because the houses in PA are old. And he's like fucking chewing it, he's biting it off, I don't care if he's teething, dude, teeth something else, not the window. Uh, we'll go into a regrowth next, but if you find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to let me know by subscribing, I'm really trying to hit 1k by the end of the year. And I hope we can do it together as a family, you know, me and you, we're a family. And not the Alabama kind, unless, you know, shit happens. Sparks fly. You love to see it sometimes. This is actually my first game of the day. <laughs> sometimes I uh, I say that and it's not the first game of the day. Usually I, I say when it's not the first. But, um, this is actually my first game. I should probably not warm up on a skill shot character like Naja. I should probably just keep warming up on Soul like I did for a bit. Just because, you know, I like Soul, I'm going to play Soul and she's not hard. Kind of sad he got that asteroid. Because Marty Chorus is, um... Auto's like one tap the thing because he has the... Dot effect? Or does the dot not cause damage? Because it's considered an ability. It's considered an auto attack because it shows up as an auto attack on the recently taken damage. Like he landed three autos and it said 19. So it shows up as auto attacks. Oh, I missed that. That's a shame. Is a regrowth. We should be good now. Yeah, this guy locks some cringe ass character in the front door and spam laughs. So I have his name. I have his name down. He's also not good. He was like two and six or something. I don't even remember who he was. It was a decent bit ago. That's a shame, dude. I'm so bad at free casting my nausea faults. Now the wave's gone, he's gonna try to run away. There we go, we got the ult. I don't know why he's stressed stepping up like that. Trying to dodge the root, he missed everything. Could have beezed the root and went in there. I think that I could have killed him if I did that. But two has a lot of sustain. So I just gotta hang out, he's gonna int. What, you're telling me that if my plan's not to fight you, I can't step up to your tower? What? There's no way. Oh, I have mana, he dies there. Like, he's just trying to run away from me, so I don't know why he's stepping up to my tower like that. I mean, like I said, this guy is one of the worst players you will ever see. Was he Kronos? I don't think he was. I think he was an Equinox abuser. Because I have, a, I have like, a Google Doc of people. If you ever spam laugh me, I have you on there, that I will never not be as big of a scumbag dude as I possibly can. And this guy's on there, but it just says front dooring, back dooring, equinox abuser, so I don't really know who he played. I didn't put it down. I don't know why he's stepping up if he's not planning on fighting me. My sustain is very good with my two. 140 HP every time I pop, but I thought Marty had um in kit um anti heal. He was really just walking away. This guy does not play the game, does he? I thought I had more mana. But I'm not at risk of dying here, but... I was gonna ult for distance. No coin toss is up. 
I mean, you just have Candor Tower. It's kind of all it is right now. It's not going to do anything. We farm. Do I have enough for a serrated? Why is my... Bro, like, why? My MacBook is plugged. I, I got my new MacBook Pro. I'm going to be learning how to... Um, I'm going to buy and learn how to edit on Filmora so I can make it a little bit more um, high quality content. But it keeps like making the plug-in noise as if it's not plugged in. It's weird. Serrated. Nice. We'll go Hydra's next, get 40% cooldown and a lot of pen. We can just continue just fighting him. For some reason, his entire plan is to clear a wave and then step up and then run away when the wave's not there. But I'm a Naja and I can sash you. You can't just walk away from me. Nope, now the wave's out there, he's gonna run back to his tower. It's like, what are you doing? You're so clueless, man. I have a feeling next time I kill him, he's gonna surrender, because he's like, What? You're telling me that I can't walk up to the tower and, um, run away because I don't want to fight you? You're telling me I can't do that? It's like, what? He just tells me he's a Kronos main, I don't know why. That's just in my head. But he's, he just feels like someone that plays Kronos. Soul Eater is a weird build. The start. I mean, not really, but... I mean, in this matchup, it feels a little strange. Juke that way, too. Nothing's up. We'll get our T2 Idris. Let's damage check, actually. Really not that much damage, even though we have a serrated. Our autos do damage, just that our ult doesn't yet. I wanted the damage check that, but that's all that was. I knew that he was going to be a rat and try to stop my back, so I was like, eh, actually we can damage check. So our autos are able to kill him, it's just our ult not as much. Fuck, I'm meant to be tracking relics, man. I mean, he doesn't have beat, so I guess in this in this match, it doesn't really matter. But I talked about this in the last video, that my the number one thing I need to work at on Naja is um, just tracking their beads cooldown. This guy doesn't even have beads, because he is hard stuck silver. Alright, he's stepping up to the tower, even though he has no intention on actually fighting me. <laughs> not it what I expected. Okay, I'm gonna... That game was just a stomp. I'm gonna throw you guys into a game two. Alright. Welcome back to a game two. We're gonna lock some soul now against a Shmilgamesh. This guy has higher MMR than me, so I'm interested to see who it is. I mean, my MMR is not very high right now. It's like 2100. Still. Oh, <laughs> another toxic player. So this guy is an Equinox abuser. Um, he... I actually have two games of backstory with this guy. One, the one that... The reason that he's on the list is because, um... Recently, when Equinox was in the game, he locked Erlong Shen, went double defense Equinox, and then spent the entire game backdooring my Naja. So, very cool guy, as you can tell. And then ages ago, you can find this video on the channel, so look, it's funny. Um, he was a Poseidon main. I... I made him surrender in five minutes. And then he said, because I was Bastet and he was Poseidon. Of course, it's a Bastet matchup, but I made him surrender in five minutes. It was like 4-0 or, no or something. And then he told me to re and I said, okay. And I re and I left Poseidon open. I went Hera, and then he surrendered in five minutes. And then he said, I told you to re little bro, not Argus. <laughs> and that was like, that is, my fav that is my favorite thing I've ever heard. I told you to re little bro, not Argus. <laughs> It's so funny to this day. I love that. I love that comment so much. And um, yeah, this is him. 
Poseidon's no longer in the game, so he's abusing Equinox. I think my record's like four and one against him. Only reason I lost is because Equinox with uh, or Long Shen, and then I was Naja, and he just backdoor and front door 24-7. I wasn't able to get late game. That item's just broken. If the item wasn't in the game, I'd be 5-0. I don't care about Erlong, I just care about the item. Equinox, brain dead item. Not the best matchup in the world. I could definitely win it. It's definitely not the best matchup in the world. Gilgashmesh is incredibly good right now. Definitely a top tier pick in duel. Out of the current picks that are open, he's definitely S tier. Nice kick. I do no damage. Luckily, he's bad. I don't want to take minion aggro because I can just want to sustain with my one. Because, like, Soul's early game is meant to be very good, but against a Schmilgamesh, it's just... His early game is just better. Nice kick. What was that? Salem, get off the window, man! That is a tragic turn of events for that ultimate. I think I'm down to just go get my Bancrofts. But the wave, the wave looks so good, I can get a chalice. Imagine the chalice value. Chalice goes hard here. <laughs> I told you to Riki, little bro, not Argus. <laughs> that is unironically my favorite thing I've ever been told in this game. It's so funny. <laughs> the actual idea that he just like has nightmares of queuing into Argus. Argus is good in some matchups, but Poseidon stomps Hera. Like that is an actual counter matchup. A good like not even a bad Poseidon beats a good Hera. He's just like a new level of bad. Nice kick. Oh, he's a nice alt man. What are you ulting? Why does he hit so fucking hard though? The autos were triple mine. I hit him for fucking. I hit him for 40. He hits me for 100. Nice kick, man. He's like 0 for 3 on kicks. One of these times he's gonna land a kick, though, and it's gonna fucking hurt. Red's coming up, I think, so I kinda wanna stop his back. No, it's not. Why is it so late, man? What's that about? That's not cool. I want blue buff more than red buff. I just wanted the extra farm. It's just so unfortunate. It's so late. I feel like he did not clear a 30 seconds after me. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get the point, okay? You know what I'm saying. It's a schmogel mesh, so there's no chance it's still there. Shmilgamesh does too much damage. And I do not. I do 55 damage. <laughs> I mean, I'm more about, like, sustaining, right? So it's just gonna be hanging out for now. He literally is for 130 in auto. He, he quite literally does three times the damage I do. He's just bad. We'll back get a T2 Berserkers. This matchup does get really rough mid-game. Just because Gilgamesh scales very well and he's gonna get anti-heal and then till late game, it's gonna be hard. Soul's not even a late game character. So maybe late game it's even instead of good, you know. 37. 38. Nice kick. I do no damage, man. Nice kick. Get 
over your minion. I'll only just clear this wave and then go get my Berserkers. I don't really care what he does. Okay. That's his ultimate. His ultimate's his kill potential. I'm wasting it like that's weird. I want to go get my Berserkers. I kind of want to go um, either a Telekines or a Demonic over a Typhon here, I think. Uh, I don't know, Typhon's just so much value. And I do no damage. <laughs> so. Uh, maybe I should have, yeah, I should have gone Demonic, I think, because my issue right now is my damage. Like, I just can't keep up on damage simply off the fact that he's a warrior. And Gigglemash 1 has a lot of power. Or, like, not even power, it just has a lot of damage behind it. So I think I probably should have went Demonic. It's a shime. What a shime it is. I never finished Peaky Blinders. Good show though. Thomas. Thomas Shelby. There's the kick I was talking about. The one out of nine. It fucking hurt. I'm down to just get my blue here. I don't want him to get the asteroid and the red though. I just do no damage. I do have a lot of sustain though. Holy shit, he did that fast. Yoga smash damage moment. Nice kick. Okay. Yeah, he's just PvE. I just don't do damage. That's the issue. Yeah, he's just he's a PvE player, so it's very expected. Nice kick. I have my shell up. <laughs> I just don't do damage. 26 autos. Oh, I just don't do damage. That's the issue. I mean, I'm gonna win the game no matter what. It's just my damage is so lackluster. 26 fucking auto attacks. He's a warrior and I have no pen yet. So I probably should have just not taken the fight in general, but he's just a bad player. So you can see he's 1 and 11 on his kicks. He needs double defense too. So Typhon's demonic and we probably win from that point, Dom. I mean, I don't know. Gilgamesh is very, very good. It's also not a good matchup. But uh, I bet I can still win this game. Nonetheless. It's the Typhons. Maybe with 20% pen, it'll... What a magical one. Be a little more, little more doable. I have no issue backdooring or front dooring. If I can, I'm taking the option, by the way. If he wants to front door and back door, I'm game. That's good. Yeah, he's just the worst player known to mankind. He hits so much fucking harder than me, though. He hit for less- he hit less than half of what I did for double the damage. It's rougher right now. The sustain is very, very good though. Which feels good. Bro, MacBook, stay plugged in. Please. Start working on our demonic. It's just gonna be hard to kill him until we get a demonic online because he's a double defense Gilgo Smash. Salem, don't you? I see you standing up. Don't you dare fucking bite that window. Can't believe I have to yell at you for biting a window. Why are you the weirdest cat in the world? 
That's him. He's coming over to me. Come on. You want to say hi to the YouTube? Here, I'm going to put the mic up to him. Can you hear him purring? Okay, that's fun. I think I'm going to get a horrific second relic. As you can see, he is just straight PvE, by the way. I wasn't lying when I said he is just a dog shit scumbag. Nice kick. One for 13? You're doing pretty good. I can get my demonic here though, which is pretty big. He does just out auto me too, like. The thing is, the what makes PvEing scummy is not like PvEing when you can't fight, like an early game nausea, or like when you're when you're Artemis into Bologna, you know. PvEing in those senses is fine, but PvEing when you out when you literally win the fight is just scummy as hell. You almost had the Jesse ult. I might just be dead here, even though I landed everything. Nice kick. Yeah, I'm just dead. He landed less than a third of what I landed. Just did not matter. Like I said, this matchup is incredibly horrible mid-game for Soul. You're also distracting me, Beyblade. <laughs> Salem has the longest arms I've ever seen out of a house cat. He almost killed himself. Salem's arms are freakishly long. Like, you don't understand. Also, if you look at his history, he's won so many games where he's been like 0-2 or 0-3. I wonder how that's happened. I wonder what he did to kill the Titan without, without killing the enemy. I wonder what happened. Smart play would be for me not to fight, but I'm still gonna fight because entertainment. He landed his first kick in ages and wasted his horrific. Holy shit, he did not waste it. He just fucking one tapped me. This is why I said the matchup is horrible mid game. I did waste my three as well, though. Five autos for 300 damage. Wow. That's with double pen. Now he gets bull demon and he's gonna try to front or back door me. But I'm not gonna let him just do that, so. This guy is a dog shit scumbag, so I don't care about being scummy at all. I will never lose a game to this guy again. Ever. That's I promise that. I mean I'm not losing this game, that's what I mean. He backdoored me one time and the record will oh he, it'll always be something whatever how many wins I have to is one win. Where he backdoored me with Equinox. He said his blink. He has a minion alive. I want to make sure that minion doesn't get through. I have two minions here. He's a brainlet, so he's probably gonna walk to my Phoenix and give up his. exactly what he's doing. He's the worst player known to mankind. Oh, it sucks when people don't fight you in PvE in front door and back door, doesn't it? Oh, it feels so bad, doesn't it? What a shame. And you wasted your blink. I'm just going to shell that and keep running. I want to make him back because I have minions here. I'm just going to make his life hell. He's going to buy wards. He's going to come over here. I'm going to run away.
I will probably dive to this Titan once. I don't have Telekai, so I don't think I have the damage to actually kill it. Very unfortunate that my three resets the Titan there. But we're just gonna run and do it again. I don't care. If he wants to be a scumbag in backdoor, this will be every single game I play against him. I will do whatever I need to do. Great Salem. No, oh, why are you done? Why are you leaving? No. He stopped purring. He stood up. <laughs> He's gone. He he doesn't want any more. Maybe it's really just a double defense that... Alright, I'll just walk away. <laughs> you have minion wave there. If you commit to my titan, you lose the game. I'm just gonna keep walking in the jungle. I really don't care. I'm gonna make his life hell. He wants to be a scumbag, let's be scumbags. He's gonna run back. He wasted his blink. Ape moment. Stay in the jungle, make him have to pick between me and the wave. Horrible play by little man. And you will never beat me in any video game ever. Even in a dog shit matchup, you're so dog shit, you'll still never beat me. And I don't care. You want a backdoor? I'm going to be as scummy as I need to be every single game. You will never beat me again. I'm going to be as toxic as I possibly can too. This will be every single game you ever run into me again. Just know that. I hope that one game that you backdoored in was worth it. I really hope you backdoored me one single game. And that will be the only win you ever get against me. Every single game we ever play from this point on will go exactly like this. Record is 6-1. and one. Let's see how high it gets until he either quits the game or finally... I don't know, because he. I do do joke videos, so one day he could probably get an incredible matchup. But yeah, I'm going to sit the rest of this pause out. Uh, I'm going to shoot you guys into a game 3, though. Alright, welcome back to a game 3. Hopefully, against a non-toxic player. I was going to play Soul again, but... Um, I don't know. We haven't played the snake in a while. <laughs> we're against the soul. Good. I hate mirror matches. I'm happy we're not playing a mirror match. Um, Medusa wins this matchup. <laughs> I don't think I need to say much more than that. Um, I do more damage. I have anti-heal. I scale harder. I have better wave clear. I have better fight potential. I just win this matchup. I mean, a good soul could probably put up a very, very good fight against Medusa. So maybe this guy... He's gonna smoke me. Who do I? What do I know? You know? I'm just gonna go shell. If he goes horrific, I don't really care, I don't think. I'm gonna play more Medusa, I think. I like Medusa still. Even though I really don't play her. She's still one of my mains, and she is in the game mode, and she's top tier. I just. A lot of people are gonna be playing Medusa, and I really hate mirror matches of any character. Mirror matches are just not fun to me. I don't know. Skill diff, maybe. I mean, I don't even lose my Medusa mirror matches. It's just they're not enjoyable. But I guess not every game is meant to be enjoyable, which is kind of sad that that's the truth, isn't it? You know, you get on games to have fun knowing that some games are just not going to be fun. That's the way the snake crumbles, you know? Something I've learned from better Medusa players, though, is that instead of going Toxic Blade in Duel, you should probably just go Beat Stick. You can full clear waves with it, your autos do more damage. It's just overall a lot better to go Beat Stick than um, Toxic Blade. Is he invading? He hasn't even killed his minis yet. Okay, he killed his minis now. Soul is a better buff clear than me, so it's not surprising that she's able to clear that buff. I think she was late to lane.
Ouch. That is illegal that that didn't hit. Use his three. He's just standing there for some reason, though. He's not winning the fight. I'm gonna insta back for my Griffin Wing. I wasted my two, which is a shame. Thomas, Thomas Shelby. Thomas! Two? My dick is eight inches. That's what he said, bro. It was fucking crazy when that scene came out. I'm like, no one was expecting that shit. Fucking plot twist. I think even when he gets bankrupts online, my Griffin Wing still can outrate him. Especially because my two has the end kit uh, anti heal. I mean, this is just a good Medusa matchup, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I don't think I have to really say much. Just gotta, gotta keep stomping. Keep the snowball rolling. Let this frosty shit hit fucking peak. Frosty hitting the gym and, you know, that would be... I'm gonna go Shogun's instead of... Aussie. Because I think I want to get a beat stick after. And I need... Because, like, I could go Aussie, Shogun's beat stick, but I feel like I need the anti-heal earlier than that. And my sustain is not really that important when it comes to my DPS, right? I think my DPS is my strong suit. He's not subbing up when he knows he can't, which is smart. And he also is going to do no damage, since I have a defense. Soul kind of sucks into the defense, I won't even lie. Her ability only does 200 damage. I mean, I guess most people's abilities only do 200 damage at this part of the game. I just don't even think I care what she does. I'm just bullying. Like, I don't know. I feel like I genuinely do not care what she does. Holy shit, you did that so- you came to lane at the same time as me! How was your buff so late when you came to lane at the same time as me? And my- my buff is up and yours is down and we came to the lane at the same time. How does that- how does that make sense? I'm so confused. What? That's crazy. Look at our Shogu, Shogwa. And then we'll go beat stick. He's going double damage, no defense. That's a horrible decision. I am a Medusa. I can blow you up. I can blow you, man. Do you want me to blow you? Is that why you're doing this? Get dual players, am I right? I just want to fight you. I detonate this thing, even without a second damage item. <laughs> oh my god, man, you really need to- are you laughing at me? You really need to get some defense. So I'm going beat stick next to your defense, well, you need to get defense and then get a kill off it, man. Because once I get, I'm going to go beast stick into pen, and it's over at that point. I mean, it might already be over. I'm 1,500 gold up. Don't do it. Good boy. Who's a good boy, soul? 
Davius7960. He has a star on Soul too, which means he has at least 2k worshippers. It's hard to tell if he's playing well or not, right? It's just like a really bad matchup. And Soul's not really a character you can express much, you know, skill on. This is a bad play for you, though. Oh shit, okay, good juke. He fucking snapped my ankles in half there. I mean, what can he do right now, to be honest? There's just not really much he can do. He fucking chuckled at me earlier, though. I can't believe this guy. Can't believe him. The nerve of dual players. The nerve of me to play the fucking snake and not use the gummy worm scheme, am I right? Who do I think I am? I just want the red buff, man. I'll be honest. Can I has? I love. Yeah, she let me have it. That's kind of surprising. I mean, he doesn't want to fight, but like, I I'm low on health, you know. Maybe it's good that he didn't. He might have died if he did. I don't know. He still has no defense. What's up, Jinx? <laughs> Jesus, man. I forgot what it's like to be a hunter. That's a, I'm hitting as hard as the Gilgamesh was hitting in the game earlier. Was that last game? I think it was. I want to clear all more waves so I get a full XE and then get the asteroid, then I'll back. And then once I get my XE, I think game's over. Oops. XE online. XE also has anti heal too. It's a very small amount. But I think he has no defense. Um, well, I was gonna say he has no defense, so I think Aussie's better, so I can just sit there and farm the Titan, but then he picked up defense. Uh, boop. That was bad timing, but I still do so much damage, even with just flat pen from... The beat stick. Maybe Aussie oh, was the right play in hindsight. I mean, I have bull demon sustain and a chalice though, so I don't know. I don't want to end like this. I want to. I feel bad. This guy didn't deserve this. Fight me. I'm trying to fight you, man. One more engine, he gets hit by that. Listen, I'm giving you the chance. You have to fight me here. If you don't fight me, I'm ending the game. I mean, what is he meant to do, man? That's game. This is just bad. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna put you into a game four or five. I don't even know how many he's been. Ooh, sparkles. Welcome back. 
do a game, whatever. This guy banned Kuzumbo and Fafnir. Fafnir's not a, a bad ban, actually. Fafnir's kind of goaded right now. Holy stars. Sex. Sex. B sex b bombs. Sex bombs. On Achilles. This guy does have higher MMR than me. Which is a little intimidating because how the hell do you have higher MMR than me when you're an Achilles player? So I'm a little intimidated, as I probably should be. But I'm sold. So, Welcome probably fine, show. maybe? I don't know, this guy's sketching me out, man. Never seen him before, he comes in with a higher MMR, maybe he's a guy that gets like... Maybe he gets GM like, day one, and then doesn't play duel again, because I've never ran into him before. But he seems to be stomping people. Which is a little scary. I'm playing Soul again, by the way. Did I play her this video? Played Naja. And I played Soul. Yeah. Naja, Soul, Medusa, Soul. So I do have like five or six characters I can play. Should I play two? Should I not play the same character twice in a game? Because I could have played Artemis or Kleena or Suki this game. But here we are in Soul. Soul does not do good in the defense, so if he goes double defense, that could be a big issue. He's also just a warrior, so he's a tanky mofo. Healy's is pretty big, you know, big burly man. Don't look away. Holy shit. Where did my health go? I feel like I landed everything. Holy shit! What? He did not land five autos on me. Where did that 400 auto damage came from? He autoed me like twice. What just that? He just blew me up. Damn. It's only Soul Eater, too. Which is weird. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? I have 32 ping. I didn't- I actually didn't level my 3, which is a little scary. Okay, he juked me. He's out. He had just enough mana for that. My 2 would have killed him if he didn't have enough mana, which is a shame. Yeah, this guy just blew me up earlier, I don't know. Kinda shocked that happened. That didn't come out of my hat. Bankrupt's in a chalice. He's our wing shard. How is that in range? When I'm landing all my autos, it's just I do no damage at the minute. And apparently he does 200 damage in ability. And fucking 800 in auto attacks. Holy shit, his, the hit's so hard. Like, oh my god, bro. <laughs> I like how half of his ability hits harder than my entire two. Why is he hit so hard, man? Go back at our uh, T2 Berserkers.
like four or five hundred damage from an ability and a half. That is an unfortunate ult. He accidentally guessed correct. No, he makes him one fucking HP. What is up with every video someone living with literally negative three HP? Every single video. So sad every time. Back and get our uh, full berserkers. Good eye, Resto Changeo. I'm almost done with the Kuzumbo series. I think I have like nine forty worshippers right now. So like one or two more videos will probably be it. Maybe three if the videos are short games. So I only played like 15 videos of Kuzan oh, for the series. I mean, I played a lot of Kuzan before the series, too. I mean, I'm still going to be playing Kuzanbo. He's still my main support in Conquest. The video came out that came out yesterday about my uh, game in Conquest. You should watch that. Very good game. Cannot believe that didn't hit him. I mean, I do want to fight him. He has no defense. He just this, he just out damages me with autos and abilities still, which is kind of shocking. But also, still pretty tanky because he's a warrior and I have no pen. He's going more damage. What a fucking Chad, and I missed. I'm not gonna get that rock, so I'm just gonna back and get my T2 ring. Okay. We're waiting for a minute. I think this should be a demonic. But if you guys if he doesn't go defense, maybe it should just be a telekines. Your middle tower is under attack. Oh, you can't move the alt when you're in your three. That is my two. Dude, he just outtrades me. I landed 11 autos and his, his did more than me. His did double my damage. Half my autos for double the damage. I did not know he had blink. I played that pretty poorly. He played it better than me. He didn't play it perfectly either, but he played it better than me. I landed so many autos for no damage. He hit so much harder than me. That hit him and didn't do damage. Interesting. Dude, he just out damages me. With no defense. We got a ring online. Come out of my hat. 
We go demonic next. He has no defense, so I think Telekin. He's still going no defense. He's going serrated now. Don't shut up, MacBook. You're plugged in. Like, what is his damage, man? His auto set for triple mine with Hydras. His abilities literally hit for 320, and then his Hydra's proc hit for like 200 each. I hit him like two times every time before he closes the gap, too. He's just out damaging me. Damn, he has a good movement. Only reason I'm in the fight right now is because I'm fucking soul and I have so much sustain. That hit him, by the way. That's the third two that's hit him and hasn't done damage. Literally, only reason I'm in the fight right now is because I have so much sustain. He does so much fucking damage. Dude, he has such good fucking movement as well. Can I stop his back? No. I can. Okay. I want to start making him step up or miss uh, minions into the tower. He's used to right, not left. I'm just not going to use mana. It's like he's trying to make me go oom, so I'm just not going to use my mana. I just can't kill him. He doesn't really take damage, and he outdamages me with full damage. He doesn't even have defense. He's losing so much for this red buff. He lost so much, but he, he got the red buff now. I want Asteroid. I want Rock. Dude, I don't know. He has no defense and is out trading me. His movement's also fucking incredible. I also want to secure my blue buff. I have to take Asteroid, Tower, Phoenix damage, and blue buff in place of red. Yeah, I picked that up, but whatever. He's probably going to go Bull Demon now. I want to get a, I think, Hastened. He has no defense. For my next trick. He's definitely on a bull demon right now. He is not. That's surprising. Thought I was there. Dude, he has no defense and I still only hit for 61. Holy shit, he does so much damage! He just eats everything I have with no defense. He just- I didn't miss a single thing. I landed everything. He has no defense and he's out trading me. What the fuck is that? I don't- what is that? I think I need a Phalanx, because he's ability-based, and he's out-trading me with no defense. I think I need a Phalanx. He's still going more damage. Where is all of my HP? How did he just do 1100 damage with one auto and two abilities? Two abilities and one auto did all of my HP. He has blink he wants to use. 
I, he's just one-shotting me. I don't understand. I've never seen this before. Not even like I'm missing anything. I'm landing everything. And he lives with one HP again. Dude, he's literally just one-shotting me. I don't know. I, I He knows something I do not, apparently. Because I don't understand how he's one-shotting me there. With, he, he just dashes forward, auto-attack, uses his ability, auto-attack, and I have no health left. Nineteen hundred damage out of autos. Half my autos for five times the damage. God damn. Good eye. God damn it, man. He has such good fucking movement. 17 has 1600 with autos. He has no defense, and my 18 autos is not enough to kill him. 18 fucking autos, and he doesn't die. I did miss a two, and he did juke my ult. But 18 autos, and he doesn't die. I did, I did his entire HP bar. Who is this guy? He's out trading me with no defense. We both missed our ult, so those are both nullified. I missed one ability. One ability and landed 18 autos and lost that fight. Even if I land that too, it's not like the two does that much damage for me. I don't I don't know what's happening. This guy knows something I do not. He's just fucking better than me, I guess. I don't know. I will place you right here. Dual player moment. Keely shouldn't have very good Titan damage. Let's pick up this demonic. That didn't come out of my hat. He's actually just run boring me. And holy shit, he does have incredible Titan damage. My Titan is dead. Let's well, just game, I guess. I don't fucking who what what is this guy? I don't understand how that happened at all. That is fucking crazy. He had no defense the entire game up until that point. That is fucking crazy. I don't know. He knows something I don't, I guess. That's I I'm at a loss of words of what happened that game. I genuinely don't know. Until they fuck you and leave All that every day you should scratch at your face and you bleed No one even comes out Cause she just left him with ease